my little brother, he had walked in on me shooting heroin when I was, I don't know, 17 or 18 years old. For Tatiana Green, heroin addiction began with pain meds, led to overdoses and arrest and an agonizing recovery. When I was using, I didn't even realize that I had an addiction. News of one of Long Island's biggest heroin busts has her stunned, she says. Because of the scope, 36 indicted, accused of peddling 4,000 decks or doses each week, brazenly along the Nassau Suffolk border route 110 in hotels restaurant and movie theater parking lots the highly concentrated drug shipped in from Mexico packaged inside this North Amityville home no care of the community no care of the people they were poisoning acting Nassau Police Commissioner Tom Crumpter credits the new regional Long Island heroin task force which traced clusters of overdoses to the source getting the drugs off the street is a great first step but I think uh, everyone would agree we're not just going to encourage our way out of this. The director of the Long Island Council on Alcoholism and Drug Dependence says the solution must make treatment affordable. Drug addiction is a sickness, and this is an epidemic. You go into an inpatient facility, and you're addicted to the most powerful narcotic on the face of the planet, and they approve you for five days inpatient. That's akin to putting a Band-Aid on a laceration of an artery. It doesn't work. Despite all efforts, Suffolk County led this state last year in heroin deaths. There are success stories. Stories like Tatiana. There is so much depression and anxiety that comes with getting clean, like the feelings inside that you have that people don't want to go through that. They don't want to go through the initial withdrawal process. She's now a drug counselor, making her little brother proud. In Franklin Square, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And police tell us the suspects were in operation for 10 years.